The film begins with Samuel Drake who is helping his younger brother named Nathan Drake who will fall from the window of the museum building. They are the children of an explorer named Sir Francis Drake. After successfully helping his brother up, then Sam showed Nathan a painting of Ferdinand Magellan, the first human to circumnavigate the world. However, said Sam, Magellan was not the first person to successfully circumnavigate the world. After that they approached the first world map, aiming to steal it to find a treasure in the form of gold left by Magellan. However, their theft was discovered by the guard of the place. Then they were handed over to the authorities. After that at the orphanage, Sam was asked by the police to pack his things before he was taken to the police station. But because he was afraid of going to jail, Sam chose to run away. Before that, he said goodbye to his brother first, then gave his ring necklace left by his father and promised to return home. Fifteen years later, in New York City, America, Nathan, who is a bartender at a bar, is again late so he has to sneak in. But his co-workers caught him and teased Nathan for being late. However, Nathan didn't care about it and chose to go straight to work and demonstrate his skills in concocting drinks for a woman. While Nathan was wiping the table, Nathan tried to help light a match for the woman who was about to smoke. However, Nathan used the opportunity to steal the woman's bracelet. Nathan easily managed to move the bracelet into his trouser pocket. After that, Nathan returned to the bar and continued his work. Unbeknownst to Nathan, the act of theft was seen by a visitor named Victor Sullivan or nicknamed Sully who is a former pilot. Nathan avoided it and asked Sully to leave because the bar would close soon. With Nathan's expertise in stealing, Sully then offered Nathan a job with a very large fee. But Nathan refused and asked Sully to immediately leave the bar where he worked. After Sully left, Nathan then reached into his trouser pocket to check the bracelet he stole earlier. But the bracelet had disappeared from his trouser pocket and there was only Suli's business card. With that business card, Nathan then went to Suli's house to get the bracelet. Arriving at Suli's residence, Nathan was surprised to see the first world map which looked very similar to the original. Suli also said that the map was genuine. Then Nathan explained about Magellan and his team's journey around the world. But Nathan Magellan said he was not the first person to circumnavigate the world. Magellan died on his way to the coast of the Philippines. Then it was continued by his team led by Juan Sebastian Elcano with 17 other people who aimed to find gold. But Nathan thinks the story is just a fairy tale. Suli also said that it was a fact. Then he showed a book to Nathan about the history. Because the king of Spain was unable to finance the mission, a wealthy family named the Moncada family provided capital to Magellan and his team on the condition that they bring the gold. Since childhood, Nathan has dreamed of finding the treasure with his older brother, whose whereabouts are unknown now. Suli also said that she was Sam's friend, but Sam disappeared on the way while looking for the gold. Then Suli offered Nathan to look for the treasure who knows they might find Sam too. However, Nathan refused because he was willing to leave his brother. Arriving at home, Nathan saw photos of himself and Sam wearing the necklace his brother gave him, then contacted Sully and accepted the offer that was difficult to give earlier. The next day, they will kick off the largest collection of art and artifacts in Spain. One of them is a cross-shaped key to open the treasure vault but they have to find two keys to find the gold. One of the keys is in the auction house, Augustin who is in front of them. By becoming guests they will enter the building, then Nathan's job is to turn off the electricity to cause chaos. It's during the chaos that Suli will retrieve the key. Before carrying out the mission, Nathan also prepared himself, one of which was by training physically. When everything was ready, in the evening they rushed to the auction. Before the auction started, Suli was approached by a familiar woman named Joe Braddock who was an employee of Santiago Moncada and was suspicious of her presence at the auction. On the other hand, Nathan, who was looking at the key, was surprised by the presence of Santiago Moncada, who also wanted the key. After that, the host asked the guests to sit down because the auction was about to start. Suli and Nathan began to move to do their respective tasks. Seeing something suspicious about Nathan, Braddock ordered his two men to follow Nathan. While the auction was held and there was a bargain between Santiago and Suli. On the other hand, Nathan's action to turn off the electricity was noticed by Braddock's men and a fight ensued which caused chaos in the auction area. Disguised as an auctioneer, Suli manages to take the key and leave. Unfortunately, the action was known by Braddock. But luckily the guards believed that Suli was an auctioneer and then let Suli go with the key. After they managed to get the key then they flew to Spain to get the other key. At the airport, they tried to find clues to the whereabouts of the treasure through a diary belonging to Juan Sebastian Elcano. Arriving in Spain, more precisely in Barcelona, they meet a woman named Chloe who is Suli's old friend who will help them find the treasure. Because it turns out that Chloe has one of the keys. This surprised Nathan because it was difficult not to tell him beforehand. When Nathan and Suli were talking, Chloe secretly took the key that Nathan was carrying from the bag and even Chloe herself had followed them from the airport. 
Knowing that the key was missing, Nathan and Suli immediately went after Chloe. Once they managed to catch Chloe, Suli and Nathan then allowed Chloe to go because the keyhole was not in a tree like the one in the book but in a church. Then they rushed to the church but because that day there was an event in the church, they decided to come back tomorrow. Elsewhere, Santiago asked his father, Armando Moncada, not to donate all of his wealth to charity. But Armando remains confident that he will donate all of his wealth. Then Santiago met Braddock who was with his men and asked her to take the key from Suli's hands. Meanwhile, at Chloe's residence, she asked Suli to tell Nathan that Sam was gone. But it's hard to say that now is not the right time. The next day, Santiago again asked his father not to donate his wealth. But it seems that Armando has made up his mind to donate all of his wealth. This made Santiago desperate to tell Braddock to kill his father. At the same time, Suli, Nathan, and Chloe were already in the church. Then they split up to speed up the search until they finally found a symbol that read Juan Sebastian Alcano and his team leading into a room. They immediately moved into the room. Armed with Nathan's analysis and a book, they finally found a secret door. Then Nathan and Chloe put the key into each hole. Meanwhile, Suli's task is to direct the key rotation through the instructions in the book. However, in the first round, they made a mistake that almost made life difficult. And finally, they managed to open the secret door, they saw a hallway. Then Nathan and Chloe went into the tunnel while Suli was on duty outside. Through the symbols printed on the hallway walls, Nathan and Chloe slowly walked until they finally found a door. Then they opened it, but unexpectedly they entered the bar. At the same time, Braddock's men were also there. Then Nathan and Suli pretended to be visitors, although, in the end, Nathan's disguise was discovered by Braddock's men and there was a fight between them. Meanwhile, Chloe was trying to open a secret door in the wall of the bar. But finally, Chloe managed to open the door, they then immediately ran and entered the hall. Soon they found another keyhole, but when Chloe opened the secret door suddenly water came. This made the two of them panic, then Nathan immediately contacted Suli and asked him to find another keyhole to lead them out of the tunnel. However, when Suli managed to find the keyhole and tried to open it, suddenly Braddock came and asked for the key from Suli's hand. Then there was a very tough scuffle, while the water filled the hall where Nathan and Chloe were. But finally, Suli managed to paralyze Braddock and immediately stuck the lock. Nathan also managed to get out of the hallway, but not with Chloe. Nathan then went back into the hall to help unconscious Chloe. After that, they continued their journey. Before long they found the keyhole again. However, the hole does not match the key that Nathan is holding. Then outside, it was hard to find a key symbol and asked that the two keys they had be put together. Then Nathan asked Suli to throw the key away, but it was difficult to accept their proposal because he didn't want to be betrayed. In the end, Suli gave in and dropped the key. Then Nathan put the keys together and the door opened. They then entered and saw several giant-sized jars. With the help of Nathan, Chloe then tried to find out what was in the jar. What Cole found was not gold but salt, and soon the jar was broken scattering salt in it. Nathan then found a map among the piles of salt indicating that the gold was not in Spain. Suddenly Chloe pointed to Nathan with a gun and asked him to hand over the map until Cole hit Nathan to make him faint and then went with the key and map. After Chloe left, Nathan woke up and asked Suli for an explanation about his brother. Then Suli said that Sam was gone. This made Nathan disappointed with Suli for lying to him. At the same time, Braddock informed Santiago that the treasure was not in the cellars of Barcelona. It wasn't long before Chloe came. It turns out that without Braddock's knowledge, Santiago has recruited Chloe to become his crew. The next day, when Nathan read the letters left by his brother before leaving, Suli told him that the map was now in Santiago Moncada's hands. Suli also said to remember what Braddock had done to his brother. Nathan finally agreed that he would continue to search for treasure for his brother but after the mission was completed they would separate. Elsewhere, Chloe meets Santiago and hands over the map. Then they got into the cargo plane to pick up the treasure. At the same time, Nathan and Suli saw Chloe who had betrayed them. According to the map they have to go to Cala de Oro, the Philippines where the treasure is. However, while on the way, Braddock, who was annoyed with Santiago, suddenly killed him. After that, they searched for Chloe who secretly left so as not to become the next victim of Braddock's atrocities. On the other hand, Suli and Nathan managed to get into the plane through the trunk of the car. Then they sneaked into the plane to retrieve the map and then escaped by free falling. But Nathan, unable to contain his emotions towards Braddock for the death of his brother, plans revenge. Because Suli didn't want Nathan to die, then he asked Nathan to immediately jump in and release his parachute. However, Nathan tied his parachute to the cargo box which caused the cargo boxes to be thrown overboard. And then while trying to avoid being shot by one of Braddock's men, one of his legs caught in the cargo box which dragged Nathan out of the plane. On the other hand, Braddock's men managed to find Chloe and there was a fight between them, causing several of Braddock's men to be thrown out. Then Chloe got into the car and then stepped on the gas until it hit Nathan who managed to climb back into the plane which made him fall. Then hit the car that Chloe was riding in, and the two of them then decided to jump. 
Luckily, they managed to reach one of the boxes tied to a parachute. Then Nathan inflated the parachute and they managed to land safely in the sea. After that, using cargo boxes they tried to pull over. Nathan said that he had forgiven all of Chloe's mistakes but not Braddock. Soon they found land and then swam to the beach and met Suli who was relaxing, then they booked a room to stay overnight. At night, Nathan and Chloe searched for treasure locations through letters and photographs from Sam. Because according to Nathan, the treasure is not in Cala de Oro, Philippines. All night Nathan tried to find clues from Nathan's letters and photos until he finally found a clue from the photo which said that the location of the treasure was between two keys. After following the instructions from the writing in Sam's photo, finally, Nathan managed to find the location of the treasure. The next morning, Braddock and his crew arrived in Cala de Oro, Philippines. At the same time, Chloe again went alone to the location that Nathan had written on the table to find treasure. However, Nathan wrote down the wrong location and hid the real location in the bottle because he knew that Chloe would betray him again. Then Nathan immediately went to the location he had obtained using a speedboat, soon he arrived at a cave then entered, and a few moments later saw several ships left by Magellan. After that, he got on the ship, and suddenly a hard man came from behind who managed to find Nathan through the GPS connected to his cell phone. Nathan also gave all the gold to Suli, because he just wanted to find the treasure with his brother. Then Suli apologized to Nathan. Suddenly Braddock and his men arrived where Nathan and Suli were. Then Suli and Nathan immediately hid. Braddock then asked his men to find them. But fortunately, Nathan and Suli were not found. Then Braddock transported the ships by helicopter. Suli and Nathan came out of hiding. After taking some gold and their weapons equipment they moved to immobilize Braddock's men. And there was a fist fight. One by one, Suli and Nathan managed to finish off Braddock's men. Then Suli hijacked the helicopter. However, their actions are known by Braddock. Braddock also mobilized his men to reclaim the ship. And again there was a fight between Nathan and Braddock's men, even though Nathan managed to paralyze all of Braddock's men alone. Then Nathan blew up Braddock's helicopter using a weapon left by the Magellan ship which made the helicopter fall and killed his crew, but Braddock survived and managed to jump into Nathan's ship. Then Braddock released the anchor which brought the ship to rest, and there was a fight between Nathan and Braddock, while Suli is trying to get back his fallen bag which contains gold. However, after getting back his bag, it was hard to then throw it at Braddock's body which made him fall into the sea so that Nathan managed to survive Braddock's pursuit. After that the ship containing the gold detached from the helicopter and fell on Braddock. Suli and Nathan also gave up the treasure for Filipinos. Then Nathan thanked Suli for giving up his bag to save Nathan from Braddock. Then Chloe came with an annoyed face because Nathan had lied to her. After that, to reduce his disappointment, Nathan gave some of the gold he had brought to Suli which made him smile again. Elsewhere in the prison, Sam is still alive and tries to write a letter to Nathan, somehow the letter reaches his younger brother. At the end of the film, Nathan meets someone named Gage to ask for an old Nazi map on his next mission, and in return he will exchange the map for a ring necklace his brother gave him which means a lot to him. But Gage betrayed him, luckily Suli arrived on time. While he was off guard, Nathan took the gun from Gage's hand and pointed it at his head then took the map and showed that the ring necklace was fake, then they left and the movie ended.